Did you know that I heard you can harvest landmines with a wrench? Wait, really? I've been passing these up. It'd be great to be able to pick- Oh, welcome to Quill Gaming, where apparently I do dumb shit so you don't have to. Our night went pretty good, and we're already off to a great start for this week. I mean, heck, the base is already fixed. God, that was exhausting! What's the plan for today? We're gonna build a bunker. I've already scoped the area out and decided that this is where I want to call home. Sure, it's the desert, it's hot, and there's tons of birds and shit, but screw it, we build here. Since our bunker is going underground, we need to carve out a chunk around here. This is a very important task and one that, while boring, should never be rushed. I mean, really, it's just digging a hole. Why would anyone need to cut corners there? It's not like it takes forever, and there's more important shit to do. That's better, but it's still not enough. Not bad. With the hole carved, shaped, and clean, we can start laying out the floor plan. It doesn't look like much now, but you'll get to see the full picture soon. Before that, we need to build the balcony. Since the rest of the floor plan is made out of normal square blocks and the balcony isn't, we'll go over how to build the balcony first, then do a full view of the layout. First thing we're going to want to do is take normal wet concrete blocks and run them for three rows past the doorway. After that, swap to the wet concrete wedges and run them along the length of the balcony. Follow that up with a row of wet concrete half blocks. And in case you were like, yo, is he floating? Yes, yes I am floating. Sweet! Now, camera, get up in the air. So the base is going to be laid out in several sections. You've got the main hall and balcony, rec room and kitchen, two halls for bedrooms and expansion, the storage room, crafting room, and of course, the exit. Normal concrete is going to be our available space. Red and yellow will be a wall. Purple is going to be a weird shaped block, and believe me, you'll know what I mean when you see it. Black and white blocks can be ignored because they're just there to show dimension. Now, for every red and yellow block, we need to build a five block wall on top. Let's get to work. Well, 
the walls are in place, so now we can start framing everything. I've capped off the top block of each wall with red paint. So, if it's red, don't build on it. Well, don't build on it yet. We'll start with the main hall and the four side rooms. Easiest way to tell what a side room is, is look for these holes that I left in the floor. For these openings, you're going to want to grab some concrete block trim half splits from the creative menu, set them to advanced, and rotate them until they line up just like so. Place those to cover up each opening. <sighs> look, it might not seem like much, but these are going to make painting look so much better when we finally get to it. It's, it's, it's the little things, man. It's the little things. Anyways, moving on. On the sides of the rooms, you're going to want to grab a few wet concrete wedges, set them to advance, and then rotate them until they fit just like so. You're going to want to stack them three blocks high for each entrance. On the fourth block, use wet concrete wedge steep inside corner to seal off the top. To connect the top rows, use wet concrete stairs 50 blocks. For the balcony and front entrance, we'll seal it using more wedge concrete blocks. These small doors are actually very simple. On the bottom row, place wet concrete half blocks using the on-face rotation. For the middle, use wet concrete wedges. And then close up the top two rows with normal blocks. Strictly for aesthetics, I do like to break the hallway into two sections. And to do that, it's pretty easy. In the middle, we're going to place a concrete wedge just like so. Then seal it with a wet concrete wedge steep corner base on both sides. Now, run a row of concrete half blocks along the top and close in the sides with wet concrete quarter blocks. Now, these rooms actually get a very simple design. I'm going to place a wet concrete quarter block on the top corner of each room. And then close the molding off with quarter blocks. The balcony is actually a pretty simple design. 
First, take some wet concrete plates, rotate them like so, and place them three blocks high on each side. You can make it a little bit easier by closing in the top with some solid normal blocks. So it should sit just like that. And then what we're going to do is take this design that's on the inside and copy it right here on the outside. Now, take a few farm plots and we're going to place them along the back side of the balcony. Nice. Now over in the corner, we're going to seal it up with four normal blocks. With those down, we're going to take and close off the top of the farms with some concrete wedge blocks. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. I like it. In front of the gardens, we're going to make a very simple frame using wet concrete poles. Just like that. Look, it's nothing super special, but it does make it look a little bit better. At least in my book it does. And now, with the powers of levitation, we will frame off the ends. Use wet concrete wedge blocks to close up the top just like you see here. Of course, rotate it to account for the sides. And then we're going to use the wet concrete wedge steep corners to, well, close in the corners. Along the edge of the balcony, use pole blocks to frame the sides and to make a railing. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Well, with the rest of the shell complete, we can just about close off the roof. Before we do that though, I kind of want to get the lighting in place. Alright, so as you can see, in kind of the center of each room, I've placed a light and an electrical relay on top. Here's a top down view for anyone who wants specifics. Pink is where a light was placed and black and white are just for dimensions. I also placed a light on each side of the balcony and decided to connect it to the nearest relay, which really isn't that far. So yeah, with those in place, we can check our wiring and then close up the roof. I don't know why I have a shovel, just, just go with it. Right, I think this is it, and boom, there we go. Man, this place is looking fantastic. Everything's starting to dry. You can see where the rooms are divided. And I, I mean, we are, we are nice and secure, plenty of lighting. I mean, what more could you ask for? <sighs> All right, well, let's do some painting and decorating.
All right, well, that's all of the rooms, so let's do a quick review and then we'll move on. First up, you've got the little rec room, and this isn't really anything that's going to be benefiting us for our playthrough, but then again, it's not really supposed to benefit us. This is just kind of, you know, it's for fun. It's a rec room. There's nothing else to do here except relax. And this looks like a place I can relax in. Well, except for that creepy guy there, but then again, who doesn't like falling asleep with an old man watching them? I mean, I could take it or leave it, but that's neither here nor there. Alright, moving on. Of course, we've got the kitchen over here, and it's got your basic amenities. A nice little sink, a fridge and coffee pot to store all of your beverages, and a microwave. But, speaking of cooking, I just realized I'm missing a vital part of this kitchen. Because for some reason, even though there are ovens in this game, and I have working electricity, and can build an entire flippin' underground bunker in a matter of days, for some reason, I can't make ovens work. That's not me, you know, not knowing how to do it. That's the game being the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and dirty up the kitchen with a nice little campfire. And a second one, just because sometimes I like cooking multiple things. You just threw off the entire flow of the kitchen. It looked nice, pristine, clean. Except for that trash, but you, you ruined it. Bastards. All right, moving on. And of course, over here, you have our storage room. There's really nothing too special about it. I mean, seriously, it's just boxes on boxes with, uh, I mean, if you knock this out, you could have more space for even more boxes, but that's 18 of them. So I think we're gonna be just fine on storage. Now for the crafting room. This is a design that I've been working on, well, just for a little while. I really wanted to make it look grungy, how, you know, people, how a place would be where someone actually stored tools. Now you might be asking yourself, hey, where are the forges? Well, it's actually pretty simple. They're right here. Let me show you. My forges are in the back. This is a design that I've used before, and it essentially makes a forge look like an incinerator. Now I'm not going to go over how to build it, because I already have in the past, but I will link that video to the top of this spot right here. And this, my friends, for the main staple of the build, the balcony. Now, it's not the most impressive thing, but I'm pretty happy with it. It looks fancy. It's got this nice little garden here where we've got some seeds growing. Don't worry about that opening. We'll get to that in a few minutes. And then, of course, we've got our nice little chairs in case anyone wants to sit down and look out of the canyon. That looks terrible over there, that little bit of brown splotch shop. Fuck it, I've already built here, we're gonna keep it. I'm not gonna worry about that, just don't look in that direction. And of course, plants. Who doesn't like a good plant? I mean, come on, that just, that is like, that is tasteful right there. Well, since we've gone over the inside, let's, uh, let's go see how the outside looks. It can't be that bad. Fuck, that's ugly. All right, well, you know what? I didn't want to dig everything out, which means I've got to fill it back in. <sighs> cool, 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 cool. We'll be back in a minute. Let me knock all that out, and I'll show you the finished product. Damn it! I think we've done a pretty good job today. There's obviously plenty more we can do, and we will. Shit, I didn't even really get to make a good entrance to the place. We'll fix that though. 
It's, uh, I've got plans for it, but I couldn't quite squeeze them into this episode. We've only got a couple days until Horde Night, so we really need to work on the other base. Before we end, though, there is something that I wanted to mention. With Alpha 20 being on the horizon, we still don't know when yet, but hopefully soon, I figure we'll sort of drift between two types of episodes until it comes out. One will be just building onto this base, and... Well, honestly, we'll probably just end up making as much unnecessary crap as possible, just for fun and stuff. You know, more videos like this one. And the other will focus more on the, you know, port based design and stuff like that. Less of a focus on the day-to-day -day survival, and more on building fun stuff. I mean, there'll still be some day-to-day, -day, but I want it to be better, more challenging. So, spending a while building should help boost that game stage nice and quick. Anyways, y'all let me know what you think about that. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go to bed. You guys, though, y'all have a great week.